Hello library friends, it's Mr. Andre here at Clayton County Library Headquarters Branch. And today, we're going to continue our series on the 2021 Teen Film Challenge. Now what that is, is a contest that we're going to enter nationally and here at Clayton County Library Systems. So we must create a video that is 60 seconds long, have the theme that we have this summer, which is Tales and Tales, meaning fairy tales, myths, and fables. And it must be appropriate for all ages. And we are going to have the deadline, which is July 26, which is a Monday. So today we're gonna to talk about brainstorming ideas and coming up with a screenplay or a script. We're gonna have three additional videos coming in the next few weeks for Today is screenwriting and brainstorming. Next will be pre-production. Then we will have a production video. And finally, we will have an editing video. So let's begin. Brainstorming is when you just try to think of an idea. It's when you just come off the top of your head with any ideas that are relevant to the theme that you're gonna work with. Ours is fairy tales. Also, we're going to do screenwriting, meaning we must produce a script, which is different than a novel, which is different than a short story, which is even different than a stage play. And we will show you the format in a few minutes and also at the end of this video, we will show you the format of a screenplay. So let's start with brainstorming. Brainstorming is when you do free thinking on the subject matter. Our subject matter for this summer is fairy tales, myths, and fables. So, a fairy tale is a fantastical story filled with fantastical characters such as talking animals, trolls, fairies, goblins. And it has the element of magic or supernatural elements. So, we're going to use a story that is also a library anecdote or a fairy tale. Our fairy tale that we're going to do comes from this book, Three Minute Tales, by from around the world, by Margaret Reed McDonald. In there, she calls this story a library anecdote that she heard at many library conferences that she traveled to, and it's called The Well Read Frog. So, we also have a book that was based on that anecdote. It's called Book, Book, Book. This book was written by Deborah Brush and illustrated by Tiffany Book. It's the same story adapted in a different way. In Three Minute Tales, it's a prose story, meaning written like a novel or short story. And here is a children's book. So, we are going to make a one minute script based on this story. So what does our story have that makes it a fairy tale? Our story has talking animals. Which animals? We have a chicken and we have a talking frog. I know those animals don't talk in real life, but that's because we're making a fairy tale. So they will talk in our story. We will also have two human characters, librarian one and librarian two. If you notice, I did not mention the genders of these characters because that goes into casting when you find the actors to fill your stories. And we're not there yet, that will go into pre-production. So, we're gonna write a script. Before we write a script, we have to decide if we're gonna adapt a story or we're gonna create a story from our imagination. So I told you we we're going to base our well-read frog on from a book and from a picture book. So we're going to do an adaptation. And an adaptation is when you transform a story from a written work in part or whole from a previous written work to a video or film. So we're going to do an adaptation of the well-read frog. So we're gonna begin by creating a script. But before you begin, a, before you do a script, you must 
do a story. So I'll just tell you the story. If you cannot explain your story, then you cannot create a script, you cannot shoot a video or a movie. The well-read frog begins with a chicken walking into a library. The chicken walks up to the front counter and says, book, book, book. The librarians are amazed. They wonder, how can this chicken talk? But one librarian tells the other librarian, I guess you better give it a book. So the librarian does. The chicken comes back several times, returning the book and saying, book, book, book. This goes on all day. So the first librarian says, that, that chicken must read really fast. The second librarian says, hmm, I don't believe this chicken is reading these books. I'm gonna follow this chicken to find out what's going on. So the librarian follows the chicken the final time. They go through the woods, they go through the forest, then they find a pond. And the chicken walks up to the pond opens the books and holds it in the air and says, book, book, book. With the librarian looks around a tree and sees a frog surrounded by books on a lily pad. And you know what the frog says? Read it, read it, read it. <laughs> Get it? The whole basis of our story is the frog is sending the chicken back and forth to the library to get books because it's a well-read frog and it's read all the books the chicken is getting. Get it? We can shoot that in 60 seconds. Whereas this book had two pages for its story and this picture book has about 20 pages of illustrations and work. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I created it up close. So remember, we're going to create a script that is one page long because generally when you're talking about screenplays, it's a page per minute. So if you have a 90 minute movie, you should have 90 pages. If you have a two hour movie, 120 minutes, you should have 120 pages. So ours is 60 seconds, which is one minute. So that means our whole story has to fit on one page. So let's begin. Here we are with a twin screen and what we're showing is my diagram of the different parts of a screen on the left side of the screen. And this is our completed script for the well-read frog. So we'll just look at some of the directions and I'll explain on the well-read frog script. Fade in. Fade in is what should appear on every script for a video or a movie because film or cinema moving pictures should be like a dream. So you fade in. Next is your screen headings. This is a one line description of the location and time of day of your screen. So here we are in the library and it's daytime. Next, it shows the action of, the next line is the action. It shows the action of the events that are taking place. The sunlight is shining on a Tales and Tales poster. Then a transition. So we're gonna focus on the tails and tail sign and then we're gonna transition, we're gonna to dissolve to the library's lobby, which is another scene heading and it's still day. Then we show the action, which once again is two librarians watch a chicken stroll up to the counter. So the librarians will be doing work and then they'll watch this chicken come in. Next, we have our characters, and they should all be capitalized above their dialogue. So the dialogue is the words that they're actually going to say. So librarian one is going to say, hello, how may I help you? The chicken whose lines are book, book, book. And you're going to have the actor interpret how a chicken would say book, book, book. But every time a character first appears on a script so that you know that this is their first appearance should be all capitalized. So here librarians are capitalized and chicken 
is capitalized and then I bolded them for extra emphasis. But all you need to do is capitalize them. Next, we have maybe a subheader and we don't have any really a subheader on here. We didn't need one and we were trying to conserve space because remember, one page should cover one minute of screen time. So everything that happens on this page is going to be under 60 seconds. And then we may add on the credits where we credit the director, the actors, um, all of the craftspeople like makeup, uh, prop design, and we'll credit all of those people at the end. You really should try to get that all in the one minute, but if you go over, usually contests usually allow you to do that for the credits. But the main story must take place in under 60 seconds. And so we have a montage right here in the center. It says that the chicken is gonna come back several times and say, book, book, book. I didn't have to write those because that would take it over one page and what we know is going to happen is it's going to be a montage and a montage is a series of images that lets you know that time is going by so this action of the chicken returning to the librarian desk asking for several books again and again that's going to happen and then we're going to show a clock because we mentioned a clock um, it happens all day around the clock so that's letting the director know that we need a picture of a clock, changing the hands of the clock on, um, or it could be digital. Uh, time is gonna pass so that this librarian is gonna be impatient when the chicken comes in again, and that dictates librarian one, one's action. So librarian one is gonna follow that chicken. And then we say stealthily. Librarian one follows stealthily. So. I figure we're gonna shoot out in a wooded area and we're gonna have the librarian hiding behind trees, uh, trying to not have this chicken know that it's being followed. And then of course, at the end, we have our, pot, our um, frog. Our frog is going to be on a pad with books, with a lot of books, so that we know that the frog is well read, which is the title of our video. And at the end, our frog is gonna deliver its lines, read it, read it, read it. And then we have the end to signal that is the end of the entire story, not just the end of the scene. So in one minute, we are going to have several locations. We're gonna have the woods, we're gonna have the library, and we're gonna have the pond where the frog lives. But all of this can be done in one minute through the use of the montages. So we're gonna end this lesson on screenwriting. <laughs>